All right, with this uh, demo, I'm going to briefly uh, go over the stroke panel. Uh, here we can see one of the students has already done a good job of um, creating his shapes, but you can see that the stroke is pretty thick. But what happens with the stroke is sometimes it will cut into the letters themselves because it's it's on both sides of that the path. See that? It's on both sides of the path. And we've got some little descenders going on here. That's called the mitering. That has to do with the extreme angle of the um, of that curve. So if I lessen that angle, you can see that miter coming out of here changing a little bit. I'm not so much altering the curve. I'm just altering the direction of it, and it, and it kind of tones it down a bit. If you do not like that sharp edge, go to the stroke panel. Go to stroke options. Always remember to show, up, show your options, and then take a look what you can do. All right, right now it's set to having a butt cap, meaning the cap at the end of the line is straight against, flush with the anchor point. You can see it here. If it was set to a rounded cap, it extends the end of an open path or a um, projecting cap. Again, it projects out from an open, uh, open path. Now, um, when we're talking about this object, if I was to, if you see over here, change the corner to a rounded join, watch what happens. See how it rounds off the joined points, the points where you have a, a, uh, a smooth, it's not a smooth connection, it is a angled or corner point. A corner point when we're talking in Illustrator is this. Pen tool, that's a corner point here, all right? This is a smooth point, okay? If this is collapsed, and here, anywhere you where you've affected the actual um, corner point or the handles on the corner point, then it is it is a corner, not smooth. <coughs> All right. So here, I'm going to actually take a look over here, at aligning the stroke. This is very fun. I like to align the stroke either to the inside or outside. It makes it a lot more cleaner, and especially with letters, aligning the stroke to the outside of the path is the best way to go. All right. Here, you see how the E, the black of the E, is really kind of getting covered up? Watch what happens when I change the stroke to the outside. Now I can fully see the E, and the stroke mimics the outside, not the inside. It doesn't cut into it. Same thing with this S. Set that stroke. All right, I have a problem here. I, the aligned stroke isn't showing up. That means that there is a point here that is probably here that wasn't connected, okay? So we've got to join that, Control J point and now that option shows up I can send that to the outside I'm also going to tone this down a bit all right so now we can see that s I can see the full impact of the s the letter is there but it's not getting covered up by my stroke okay there's a lot of different ways to do things especially here if you go to dashed line you can actually make this stroke into a dashed line it's very interesting you can change the size of the gap as a one point gap as a 12 point gap now you know the difference. You can even have it preserve exact dash lengths, or it adjusts it around corners and ends and points like that. You can also change the profile. This is also available. I don't want it to be, so you can kind of see it. Um, also available up here in the control panel. All right, there's different ways of altering that and giving your stroke a different effect. All right. That's obviously an arrowhead. I don't want that, but if you see it. That's what it's kind of doing if I set the stroke a little bit lower. Okay? Play around the stroke panel, learn it, get used to it.